Hi and welcome back to Dad's RC Hangar. My name is Chris and we're going to bring you another video today. Oh yes, we are going to be still doing the My City Whoop. Um, I tried to do it on last week and it just, it, oh, me and Beta Flight just didn't get on. But I can at least show you today what was going wrong and if it was just me. Probably. Anyway, it's not that Friday feeling because it's actually Saturday. But it's still that Friday feeling. Come on. Alrighty then, welcome back. So, here's my little uh, diatone Cine Whoop. Cine Whoop. Um, it's the actual Taycan 4S. Now there is actually a 6S version of this. So, what's happened? Well, I did put it together and I did try to apply it. Now my back garden is not the biggest of gardens. Um, so I, did, I thought I might get a bit of footage but I've just got a lot of grass cuttings in here. <laughs> But it doesn't matter. Now, I always thought that this um, uh, this capacitor that we got here, uh, this capacitor here was only on a 6S version. So, I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, so, let's just have a quick look what we're doing. So, I'll put the lollipop on. That's easy enough. Let's just uh, wind it on the back. <clears throat> now, the, uh, the actual receiver, if I can find out where I put the receiver, um, <laughs> is the uh, uh, FR Sky R-XSR and it's only a Diddy one. Now, obviously they supply a cable here for this. Um, as I say, we're not going to get too up, and clo up close and personal but you can see what I'm doing anyway. So there's a little cable there ready. Now the cables that you get with this are, you know, this standard thing. But the people at Diatone have given you a little cable. Now, let's see if I can. Uh, the camera's at a funny angle, so I think I'm sort of getting in focus, but they do a little cable for you. And all that does is the ground, S bus, and 5 volt. So you plug this into here. If I can get that, it's very small. And then this is ready to plug into there. And that is your receiver. Done. With a little cable. Now, it does float around at the back here. Um, now, I'm using these two little, uh, kind of, <laughs> I call them exhausts, um, flames, <laughs> here we go. Um, that is, is, I'm going to be using those to, to stick it out now. Um, I'm going to try and do this quickly, because I don't want to be sort of rattling on about uh, stick it in o's, as they say. But it's quite hard to stick it, <laughs> stick it in from the top. It's easy if you come from behind. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. There we go. Okay. That's one. Now, I don't, you know, th this floats about. So I am going to um, make a little, uh, make a little um, 3D print. I can't actually see here. Hang on. A 3D print to, just to hold the, the, the receiver up off the platform. Uh, there's probably an easier way of getting it in here. I'm swear there is. Maybe if I come in from the bottom. Maybe I need some some pliers. But you can see what I'm going to do. Um, just want to stick it in that hole. Uh, like just weird how it. I try not to bend the, the aerial. Stick it in there. Get in. Here we go. Right. So it kind of, yeah, so once the aerials are up, it kind of goes across the actual other aerial. So let's see if I can get that in short. So you see where, it, see where it sits. So, you know, I need some sort of standoff. And then you've got these little uh, pipes that come with it that just stick in that. You could put the little caps on the ends. Um, not that I'm going to do that at the moment because I'm still going to play about. Now these do move in and out of, of the holes. Um, so, you know, I don't know, maybe sticking with something that's temporary. But anyway, so, because you want the antennas uh, as, as coming out as high as you can. The trouble is when you push this down, it pushes the antenna cable down. 
um, and you want the cables to come as far out as possible. Uh, but yeah, so that that is basically it for your building. Now, there's lots of screws and bits and pieces we showed before um, and little standoffs, but I think there's just lots of spares and bits and pieces, which is really great. Now, the only thing is, is we've got a buzzer. Um, so obviously you can find it, you know, if you kind of lose it, probably like I would. Now you do have, this doesn't come soldered on. So you do have to solder it on a couple of pins here, but it does show you, it does show you, um, on one of the cards that it gives you, which is really, really cool. And if I get it the right way around, um, which is seven is the boot, the boot. Okay, so that must be that one. And the beeper, where's the beeper? Ah, bah, 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 bah. It does say it on there, promise you. I think it's one of these anyway. Where is it? I found it the other day. USB current status indicator flight controller power boot buzzer 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 fire. Here we go. There we go. It's these two here. So this it's just these two here next to the USB. Yeah? Okay. So I'm going to solder them on. I haven't done that yet, but I will do it. It's not a problem. But that, you know, you could do something with that to stop it. But that is the, uh, that is ready to rock and roll. Now, you get a little rubber thing that I showed you that sticks on there. That holds the battery down. Um, there is only one way. It's got little inserts on the back there that sit on like little inserts. So, you know, there's only one way of, um, of fitting this. But the only thing that, um, the, the one of the things I was looking at, uh, which I thought was really hyping about, was the, uh, was the Morica USB to Type-C. Now, I thought, oh, this is such a good idea, you know, what, what brilliant people, you know. We just stick it in there like that, and then, you know, it's sitting, it's sitting on the floor. Um, but it doesn't. It goes in the bottom. Now, that's okay, because if I stick it in there, like so, it's sticking, you can see it sticking out. So if I'm trying to do, uh, you know, the accelerometer or, or, you know, try and get, you can't. So I'm not sure what, why they thought, <laughs> it was a great idea, but badly executed. Because, you know, that should have been, this should have been reversed. I mean, I'm sure that, well, I don't know actually because of the pins, but that there should be, you know, if I shoot a bit closer, this here should be reversed. Because then when it's reversed, let's stick that in temporary when it goes kind of there. You can stick that like so. And then that will be sticking out the top. You know, I mean you could even do it so it was a bit lower. So then you know you, you just come with your cable and bush done, bush dish. But yeah, that was that was the it was a great idea, badly executed. Maybe it's an, a, a redesign another day, who knows? I don't know. Now the other thing that uh, that was a bit of a pain in the bum with me is these little um, bushes, or not bushes, are they? Just I can't remember the name of them. Gap stuffs, don't know. Stand ups, who knows? But anyway, the kind of, uh, my brain has got my brain, my brain. It's my teeth. Oh, good news about my teeth! I've been to the dentist. Yes, first time I've ever got excited about going to the dentist. Lovely people they are as well. Um, now I've got another appointment at the end of this week, next week. Uh, bad news is I've got to have another tooth out. Good news is I'm going to get fitted for my new teeth. So I might be able to speak to you properly. So until then I'm blaming it on the teeth. Right, so we've got my bushes or, or gappers or what? I can't, my brain. But anyway, they go on there. Now the only problem is, is that they slip and slide about. So a little tip, a little tip if I can actually find it. Here we go, is my, my 3D printer like it's prep stick basically kind of glue is I just 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 wipe the end of that put it on there it doesn't glue it down <laughs> it just stops it from slipping and sliding about I mean you know to be honest with you you know professionals out there are quads you're not going to be taking it on and off anyway I mean you only need to take this off just to I don't know I don't know why you would have to take this off again unless it's to pick something um, I mean, I did play around with this. Uh, I will show you the Beta Flight setup that I did. I tried to look on many 
videos and I was all videoed out um, still there's not like a, a definitive video that I found that says this is what this means and this would be good for a newbie it's you know it's, it's, it's this is why I started videos you know so it's gonna be a pain in the bum isn't it do, do, do. this is why I say it's a pain because you've got to keep these in the same place I mean it probably would be a good idea to glue them really you know stick a matchstick in there or, or a toothpick just while you're gluing there we go right let's see if I can it's just the cable that's pushing it this this back cable here I mean I did have it so it went out there it was a lot nicer position I've tried all sorts on here hang on right so let's just try and get that in there like so, so the long screws that you take out go in the middle and the short screws go on the outside. Now, yeah, so I, di I did lose the screw. Okay, I'll find that in a minute. Let's just stick another one in. As I say, I have had this kind of like, I think it'd be rude of me if I said it was flying. I think it was uh, practice crashing. I was looking for a hover. So, you know, I, 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 as I say, I still need setups properly. There we go. Uh, my setup's not great. Um, you know, I want it to hover. I mean, people said, to, you know, I spoke to someone the other day, a young lad, and he goes, why didn't you just get like a Maverick? And I said to him, well, I don't want a Maverick. You know, I don't think you can use your own controller, your own, sorry, receiver, transmitter even. You know, this is, this is, I would say the Cinewhoop is a newbie because, you know, you've got all the guards, all the guards for the propellers for a start, and, you know, it's docile, as docile as you want it. You know, there was a funny thing, and now, uh, this is probably good for people. If you are a newbie like me, then it's probably good to listen to this next part. I will show you on Beta Flight, but... When I had it on here, when I was on the beta flight, um, and I was using the, testing the motors out from beta flight, all great, fantastic. Then I connected my receiver, and I started to do the throttle, and it was really weird, is that, you know, one would speed up, this is on the graph, on the beta flight, one would speed up, and then they both, two of them would speed up, and one would go down, and I was scratching my head, and I thought, what the, you know, beeping hell was going on here? And I was, <laughs> I couldn't find it on, on, on all YouTube or anything, what was going on. And then, then I found a video from Joshua Bardwell, sorry if I said your name wrong, but I think that's correct, from 2016. And it must have been one of his early ones because it was as bad as my camera that I had on my first video. Um, but as I say, it's not all, all the time about how good the camera looks. It's about the information that's given out from the video. Now this information helped me, <laughs> it really, really did. Now I'm going to leave a link down below to the video because apparently people keep asking him the same question. And he does say, look, you know, he must have millions of people now to, to speak to, all, all, you know, texting him on YouTube or whatever, you know, messaging. Um, and basically what it's to do with is that when you rev your motors up on beta flight, it's not in flight mode basically in newbie terms it's not thinking right I've got to take off in a minute I better make sure that I'm level and I better make sure that I'm doing what I'm told and listening to the receiver transmitter sorry or the or the flight controller is listening to the receiver isn't it so I was correct really um, what it's doing is just revving up his motors good yeah I'm working yeah number one working yeah all right to four unless you've got an octocopter then you've got eight so <laughs> But when you suddenly turn in your transmitter, it's listening to your transmitter. It's listening to your sticks and where they are in position. So when you're revving it up, you're getting slight oscillations and it's thinking that it wants to take off, it wants to go level. So that's why it speeds up the motors, because um, it's trying to level itself with no propellers. So there you go. So that was why it was going up and down on the scale. I mean, we can show you in a minute actually. Um, I mean, it was, it baffled me. <laughs> I mean, 
if you watch quite a few of my videos, the Magno tray, put that over there. Uh, if you watch quite a few of my videos, you know it doesn't take a lot to baffle me. But uh, yeah, so the, the yeah, so that's that. So that's what it was. Now this should really stick out the middle, maybe. Um, I kind of find it it's kind of nice there. There's my little four cell that sits on there and plugs into it. Kind of nice little fitting there. Um, there is a battery strap that I had, so that, you know, so your diatone battery strap, which comes across the middle here. Um, stick your battery bump like that. Put that round there, nice and tight as you can. And there you go, you are ready to fly. Well, put the propellers on, but you know, I was gonna play about with the, uh, <sighs> what am I playing about with? I don't know, anyone know? Someone help me? Beta flight. Yes, so I just wanted to show you in beta flight what I did, and um, to show you a few things, so we'll do that. Um, also, as I quickly shown, um, in fact, let's, why are we, why are we here, let's, um, Let's look at something. Now, uh, let me just move this to the side. And what we've got, like, my FPV screen um, that needs to be propped up by something. And as per usual, I am not prepared. So, hold it there a second. Okay, so, magically, the screen appears. So, let's just turn this on. And hopefully, I should... Uh, get a picture so that's just a boot up screen and it's looking for a thing boom there you go so there's my uh, cine whoop um, in all its glory so you know obviously I think uh, that a lot of these I need to bring up on the uh, on the OSD that's just me in placement but you can see I've got my false horizon going up you know it's just uh, I've got to be careful I don't press the wrong button now <laughs> Um, so um, there you go. Got my propellers on, but you know I'll start moving it about. It wants to try and level itself out. You're not seeing that because she's over here. There you go. Well, hello. There you go. <laughs> Nearly forgot. I was missing my teeth. Let's turn that uh, arm back on again. So it's telling us all the uh, minimum battery and the total arm for 25 seconds. Lots of stuff. Okay, just a, another quick one before we jump into beta flight. Um, I've got this uh, USB, uh, um, mini USB cable. Now what I did, I've got a quite, uh, I've got a quite a small one, Mrs. <laughs> it's what you do with it, it counts. Um, it's quite small, um, which is great because I can just bend it and then putting it in here, I can literally, I can see what I'm doing. I think I did it with some pliers anyway, but let's have a look, see if I can do it with my fingers. If I do it with my chubby checkers, I'll be able to, anyone can do it. Right, so yeah. And then just push the back in, and then yeah, you're connected. So if you see it in there. So yeah, so then I can still plug it into a beta flight, and um, yeah. Let's crack on, let's head over to Beta Flight. Okay, so we're going to swap between Beta Flight and uh, me having a chat. I've taken the old uh, hat off because I always seem to film when it's the hottest days. Absolutely teeming down with rain yesterday, but today's a nice day, so and I should be out flying, but the wind's a bit strong. Um, as I say, I had a few things to do yesterday, so I wasn't able to do a video. I tried to do, anyway, let's not go back there. So let's head over to Beta Flight. Okay, so I've opened the beta flight up. Um, <clears throat> this is a uh, you can download. I'll leave all the download links, and also I've got BL Heli, um, but that um, is for ESC set up, and also for updating ESCs, um, which we'll go through in another video. Um, there's a lot. I'm just trying to quickly rush through this so it's not spending a billion years. So I've got my uh, quad uh, plugged in. And you should see here, so when it comes up USB modem, you know that it's ready to connect. And press connect. There you go. Now, um, the first thing you'd want, this is what I sort of talked about with the um, accelerometer when you need to, uh, um, uh, uh, what was it, calibrate, that's the word. <laughs> calibrate. Um, so, you know, you make sure that it's facing forward. You can reset the Z-axis. 
um, and then obviously um, calibrate it. So you know you can normally do that every time. I mean, in fact, if I uh, bring it over here because it is plugged in, there you go. Um, I should have done me sort of picture in picture, really, shouldn't I? Maybe I will do that picture in picture. Ooh. Right. So when it's when it's uh, aiming away from you, so you've got the camera. Um, if you reset, so now I've got the antennas looking at me, and if I lift it up the front, there you go, to the side, to that side, and forward, it should be doing what that should be doing, which it is. And if now my table is not the levelest of tables, um, I need to sort that out. But you know, and then you would do calibrate, calibrate. It's calibrating, and it's done finished and as it says up there finished so that's all that done that's the first thing you need to do now with the diatone um, uh, the, the Tycan diatone um, it comes all pre-done so it always it comes as uh, um, kind of like uh, ready to go really uh, you know someone said to me you didn't really need to connect beta flight you know but I, I kind of did really uh, <laughs> and explain why now, when you go CLI the same as iNav or anything else and you do the firmware update, it's always a good thing to um, export your file. Otherwise, you lose your settings. Uh, when I've done a firmware update on this, um, I lost all my settings. So, But lucky enough, I actually wrote them down. Yes, good old fashion. So, but we can always go. The configurator, this is where you can do um, all your bits and pieces. Obviously, make sure it's the... Uh, D shot 600. Now the motor stop, I didn't, you know, when I turn it on, um, I, I want, when I arm it, I want them to spin slightly so I know that it's not. If I didn't do that, um, you know, I could catch my fingers on it because I'm not, you know, accidentally hit the button and my fingers are gone. So I, I like it, like I'm on the floor when I disarm, or arm, should I say, you know, same thing, um, it's at the motor spin. Um, uh, say I'm not going to go through uh, lots and lots uh, someone else said to me if I disable accelerate accelerometer it's easier to fly I really don't know I really need to I mean I've got to, there's some great guys including David um, and a lot of other people guys and girls in Deborah included and um, I need to go over the field and go through these things they are really tip top at all this sort of um, malarkey <laughs> so you know uh, I'm not I'm not gonna you know I'm just showing you what I've done um, a setup I'm not gonna go deep into it because I would be lying to you but yeah so you know you can always have a look on here uh, power battery I didn't change anything on that uh, might need to now pit tuning now I did change um, on profile th three did I change it on profile three uh, what was it two or profile one no I think it's profile three I might not even have saved it. I think I did because I wanted more expo. I did. I'd done expo and all the pitch yaw and roll um, because I just wanted it a bit more slower um, on the sticks. I found that when I um, let's come back to me when I uh, uh, moved the sticks slightly, it's like it really wanted to go, and that's great if you want to do acrobatics. Me, I just want a lazy afternoon, you know, a lazy Sunday afternoon, just floating around, videoing nice stuff. So I was playing about with that, uh, whether it's helped me or not, I don't know. Uh, the receiver, um, this is basically, we, now we've got to make sure is that these equal 1500. Now I don't think the receiver's on, it's not, um, and I don't want to plug the battery. Oh, could I, maybe, yes, let's plug the battery, let's turn the receiver on, which is a uh, mobile receiver. Um, I'm trying to be as quick as possible because someone said to me I do take too long. Um, that they they, they they like my videos but I do rattle on and the videos spread across lots of things but that's me unfortunately this is my little journey of learning stuff um, sorry about that I do try yes don't I Mr Quad in fact it's a miss Miss Quad Miss Orange right so it says 498 now I mean my my gimbals are pretty pretty cool but obviously they're they're, they're still Fishy flashing, which is which is wrong, really. So on here, so ah, this is this is another thing as well. Is that, is that when I first, if you look on here, when I first uh, got this, it would kept doing this, and it was like, ah, oh, what's going on? You know, why is it not doing that? And when I moved it, which way? Oh, it was, oh, it was terrible, absolutely terrible. And the reason was is because 
these weren't set at 1500 now you need to set these in your uh, radio in your transmitter and get them close to, uh, to close to sort of 1500 as you can um, throttle so as you can see it's not armed yet but quite arm in fact that's quite interesting actually uh, yeah maybe it won't arm because I don't know I thought it did I didn't thought it did uh, fire up maybe because I need to be in the other page but yeah so that's my throttle now what I what I found is that I need to play around with the throttle because I don't think those extents are high enough I don't know but I, I find it really hard <coughs> excuse me I find it really hard to hover this hovers off the ground I mean whether it's using you know the the air that's coming back because you know it's a, a different kind of a, a prop wash you know uh, because you've got that duct so it's almost like fire and it does hover a, a you know sort of like a hundred um, hundred millimeters about four inches something like that I don't know and I you know it goes but I, if I go any higher than that it seems to want to take off to the moon which is great but because I was testing it in my garden I don't think my neighbor would be very happy with me so as long as you've got this all sort of like straight and happy dappy um, you know that uh, you know your quads gonna you know not fly off as soon as you take off there you go <coughs> um, modes now modes I've got my armed and disarmed on here so that is on the, my two position switch um, you know you, you, you can put this you could drag these if you're a noob at this then you could do it so that'd be it um, when it's uh, over there I haven't saved it actually that's probably why but I want it there so that will activate when it's armed that will activate um, I've got my horizon and maybe I you know I've got my horizon and I've got my air mode so these are my two switches so up is in air mode and down is in horizon now I still a noob at this there's a lots of stuff here but there's nothing really uh, that, that says noob mode um, as I say you, I've got my fan in the background so I do apologize if that is annoying you acro trainer maybe don't know I mean the out of the cine whoops I think the uh, the um, diatone the, the, sorry the take -an, I can never say it right take -an, I think that's take -an, I think that's how you say it the take -an is the is the most acrobatic of them all I believe from what I saw um, through um, YouTube now motors here we go now I can show you now if I if I turn that on which means I understand the risk that if my fingers are there and props are there it's gonna hurt so let me just do uh, as you can hear in the background so if I do all four lovely all right now let's do it with my transmitter and if we go off a bit see it's because let's just turn that back off it's because it's trying to level itself out it doesn't feel comfortable with no props hasn't got that either I don't think they have feedback the motors but but if you if you if you get this on there and it's going what the hell well, you know whoa, whoa yeah, what's going on what's going on whoa 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 don't worry it's because you haven't got the props on once you've got the props on it will do this okay now Joshua Bardwell I love you dude you are the man um, and thank you for that so as I say I, I'm sure everyone knows Joshua Bardwell if you know about this if you don't I will leave another link to his channel and he's just a fascinating guy and indeed you do learn something I feel my brain matter expand thank you Joshua so that stopped me from <laughs> panicking and throwing the orange city whoop across the garden now the OSD yes you could I, I, as you saw on the monitor these are my bits as I say on the monitor it, this needed to come up a bit probably about there because they was all kind of like off the screen a bit I don't know why it might be just because it's the monitor I don't know but let's do that and bring it down a bit I also had uh, again there you can play about just just move stuff about uh, how you want it there's my artificial horizon just play about move it about so you can see everything you want to see um, and you uh, add this into all you because you've got modes profiles you've got one two three profiles so on your OSD here's your profiles one two three and it even says it there look OSD profile number so you know if you want it in all of them you just add it all to to these um, or you know if you you know if you wanted something like profile two just to have 
battery and artificial horizon. Anti-gravity, I uh, don't know what that is. That looks like something you'd use to go to the moon. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? I'd have all the police from knocking on the door. Do you realise your quad has hit the space shuttle? Well, it's not the space shuttle, is it? It's SpaceX. Did you watch that? Absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. Well done, SpaceX. Anyway, uh, video transmitter, don't know, haven't been there. Black box. Um, yeah, that's yeah something we need to go into. See, I like this is where you get all the information. Now, it does make a noise. And what I've noticed is that uh, when you've done, um, uh, when you've used this, you almost like kind of have to pull out the USB cable and then plug it back in again. But this is where you can get the version. Um, this is also um, where you can change things on the fly. As I say, if you want a bit more about beta flight, go to Joshua Bardwell. He's one of many that do it, but he's the man that really goes into depth with beta flight. Um, as I say, I'm a total noob, but I just wanted to show you what you know sort of things I've done. Um, so uh, I'm just trying to think whether I should just take a quick picture in the garden. Um, maybe I'll move it just it's gonna be crap and I do apologize I haven't got my my camera my action cam my Os Osmo action cam or any other action cam on there um, but it works I'm just crap <laughs> let's just face it I'm crap I need to get into that field I need I need some coaching and maybe I, all my beta flights not correct I don't think I know and it's not correct so but no we're not gonna show it we're not gonna show it Okay, just just a little bit. <laughs> Here we go. Well, there you go. I kind of warned you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I had the wrong mode set in the first place anyway. But, um, yeah, I just needed... I, I have trouble with it just trying to hover. I mean, it hovers to a certain amount, which I think is just the, the wash of the props, the vortexes and stuff. Um, but And it goes... It <laughs> wants to fly. So, you know, I, I need some practice on that one. Um, but, you know, I think that... Uh, I, I think it's great. I mean, you know, people may not say it's... a uh, it's a beginner's um, beginner's quad, but yeah, you know, it's great. I mean, it's got bumpy sides, so you can't chop your fingers off unless you stick them in the middle, of course, and then you're just being silly. Um, <clears throat> but it's just it's it's a bit of fun. Now, I'm obviously trying to get over the field. I mean, tomorrow could be. I mean, I've got to contact a few people. Excuse me to see if I can get over there, or if they're going over there, and I can see them, um, and you know, have a day of of, of fun, which hopefully would be a few videos, but. Don't keep me on that one, cause just in case, because no, my luck, it'll start to rain tomorrow. Now, I did get some, it was, there you go, to stop my glasses from falling off, because it's just really annoying when I've got, keep pushing them up, and I'm sure it's really annoying for you. Um, so, not, an, you know, it wasn't the, an in-depth thing of uh, of the, uh, of the cine whoop, and it must be beta flight, um, but, you know, it, it looks fun. And, you know, I'm going to 3D print the bracket so I can uh, put my Osmo action camera on the front. Um, and um, hopefully, uh, you know, sort of with a few bit more settings on beta flight, um, I'll get it going nicely and cinematic. And, you know, it will, you know, glide around hopefully and do what I want it to do. Um, it's just have a bit of fun. I mean, these days it's a bit hard to, to, to do where you want to do because you're not allowed. Um, so, you know, if you want to do it in the forest, which I can understand, you know, someone's running around the forest, families or whatever, and suddenly, you know, your, your quad cup to sort of pulls from the sky, then, you know, not good. Um, but, you know, we can take you over our field and we can fly around, see what, uh, see what happens. But you saw it, you know, when it dumps itself on the floor, you know, it's... Str oh, I've just missed an airplane going over and that sounds like a good... That sounds like a World War II kind of prop thing going on. Damn. Anyway, um, the uh, when it drops, you know, it, the thing is solid. It really is solid. Um, I, you know, I, 
what more can I say about it? You know, I would say you know go go for a 6S version because I don't think it's much more than the than the 4S version because uh, you get longer flight time um, when you fly that is. Um, but you know I'll get some more of these batteries if I can ever get the battery back up again, which is a good thing I guess. Um, so and and do a, another review. I mean this is basically a build and test. Um, we'll do the proper review when I get the uh, get it all going and, and I'm more confident with flying um, But yeah, so that's about it for today um, Not the best movies, but you know at least you saw a bit of what I'm doing and once I've worked everything out I'll do a video so you can see everything uh, From big to flight what the settings are and what uh, what seems to work well So if you want to get yourself one of these um, Then you you know you know what to do and uh, just fly out of the box obviously the professionals out there you know, you'll just plug it in and fly around as, you know, as if you was born with a quad in your hand. So, until next time, keep safe, have fun, and keep flying. See you now. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming by.